Hello YouTube, today's video is about how you guys can change the oil cooler assembly for Holden Cruise 1.8 which is a fairly common issue as you can see here in the coolant the oil is already start mixing or the mixing with the coolant so the common cause for this thing to happen is when the gaskets on the oil cooler fails then the oil and the coolant start mixing and you can see the, all the oil in the reservoir here so to start with this first of all we need to drain the oil and disconnect the oxygen sensor connector here with this just a pull tabs here so we need to press this tab pull the connectors out okay so once you've disconnected your oxygen sensor there are four bolts that holds the exhaust flange so is one there which has already removed uh, other one is with your dipstick and the two right at the bottom right there one is there and there's another one right there so i have removed those now once you drain the oil you need to pull the dipstick out Sometimes these can get tricky, but if you keep wiggling, it will come out. So it's losing already. There you go. So the dipstick is out now. So as you can see, it says the O-ring that holds the dipstick in place, so the oil doesn't leak. That's the main reason why we have to drain the engine oil first. If you don't drain the engine for oil first, even before removing the dipstick, you will have a lot of mess on the floor. So once you remove your dip, dipstick, now next step is to remove the, the exhaust flange. Um, that uh, you guys need to, when, you, when you're removing this, you guys need to be careful about, you don't want to damage um, the wire for the, uh, for the oxygen sensors. So just be really careful because the corners can be sharp. So just um, be gentle and try not to damage any wire. Okay, so the exhaust uh, flange is out, or the uh, exhaust shield or flange, whatever you guys want to call. Once you have removed this, now we can clearly see the manifold. And as you can see, the oil cooler is right in there. So what we need to do, we need to remove the bolts or the nuts holding the exhaust manifolds. So there are three um, nuts on the bottom of the manifold and two on the on the bracket that holds the manifold in place and remainings are these these nuts here so we need to remove the engine oil and once you've done this there are three three nuts holding the exhaust to the manifold uh to the catalytic converter we're going to remove these three and then there are two torques holding the catalytic converter which is one on this side and one day so I'm gonna remove these two bolts as well okay so once you remove two bolts holding the catalytic converter we're gonna drop the car to the floor and start working from the top oh so once you have removed the bolts and the nuts that are holding the exhaust manifold or the catalytic converter from the bottom of the from the bottom part then you can go ahead and start removing from the top so the bottom Nuts are 13 mil and the top ones, these ones are 10.
Okay, all the bolts are out. Now we can safely pull the manifold out. Alright, so once you remove the exhaust catalytic converter or the exhaust manifold, you can remove the exhaust gasket as well and it's a good idea to change at this stage. Okay, once we have this off, now you can see where the oil cooler is. So this is where the oil cooler is. Now we need to disconnect the coolant lines. We need to disconnect the coolant lines and the bolts that hold in the oil cooler. So to, in order to remove these coolant pipes, so what we need to do, there are two bolts. There's one here where I'm pointing my finger is. So that's the one bolt. And other which is right there. That one. So we need to remove these, these two first and make sure that you have uh, some pan underneath to catch the coolant okay so after removing those two bolts and this hose that connects on the thermostat here the bottom one you can easily pull and slide and slide the coolant pipe out that way that way that way, that way yes all right so this pipe is out and it's when you're putting the new one make sure that you replace those coolant o-rings as well as you can see the gaskets are not good on both sides uh, so once you remove this the next step is to remove these bolts one on top one on the bottom at the back of the water pump all right so after removing those two bolts that holding the, the coolant pipe at the back of the water pump we can start removing four bolts that hold the whole assembly in place so it's one there and that's the one there and two on this side right, so now we have to remove five bolts as you can see one there and two on this side one somewhere around here in the bottom where my finger is that one and there's another one fifth one right underneath the housing the oil filter housing so once you have all removed you should be able to remove it like this and then these pipes are held in by the o-rings as well so one's o-ring on this side there's o-ring in this so gently slide these ones out okay so we have removed the housing so this was the the last bolt that i was talking about right underneath the oil filter housing and the four on each corner so now don't forget that there's a o-ring in here as well make sure to replace this o-ring as well and before you put everything back together so now basically all you need to go in reverse order so before you put everything back order, make sure that you remove these gasket sticks with this you don't want to put gasket on top of the gasket these are the gaskets because they become hard and brittle they get stuck they get really stuck with the block remove these gaskets and with um, fine sandpaper make sure you clean all the area around both side where the oil goes otherwise the chances are that you will have once you have everything back in the chances are that you have an oil leak all right that's it this is th this is it i hope this video is helpful in re removing or replacing or fixing your oil cooler housing for the holden cruise um if you like my video i will request you to sub subscribe to the channel that gave me motivation to put more and more video. Thanks for watching.